We're in the boardroom here at 117 Kyle Drive in Chatham. It is Mike, and it's country in the boardroom and the hottest country item in Chatham County in quite a long time. Brooklyn Roebuck is here. How are you? I am great. How about you? Fine. Man, what a weekend you had while you're, well, you're here. Yeah. And uh, Saturday night, not over uh, 48 hours ago, opening up for none other than Tim Hicks yeah. at Encore. How was that? It was absolutely amazing. I mean, the crowd was great. I, they sang along to a lot of the songs, so... It's just, it was amazing. Yeah. This has all happened for you in what, less than a year and a half? Yeah, after the next star. Yeah, you went yeah. on YTV's the next star. You won the whole darn thing. It's crazy. And take us through the last, you know, few months. You went from winning that, and now you're just, you're all over the place. Yeah, well, it, it started off having, well, I started off having a lot of radio interviews, and then I went into, hmm, I had lots of gigs after that, but my main focus lately has been songwriting and I actually just released my new EP called Storyteller and yeah it's on iTunes and I have CDs and everything so it's pretty cool. It's a four song uh, EP it's yes. available for you now mm -hmm. and a number of ways you can do that on your website it's probably the easiest website, way to do yes. that mm -hmm. and uh, you have the chance to uh, do some more writing down the line with Jay Allen I hear. Jay, yeah I'm so excited oh, that's, that's and also Emily Parrish who that's was the producer I'm of Storyteller. I'm really excited about that. Uh, to go back to Saturday night a little bit here, uh, we'll backtrack to uh, to Encore when you open up for Tim Hicks. What was that like in front of that massive crowd, the energy that was the whole night? I mean, that place filled up by 8 o'clock, 10 to 8, and uh, you know, Tim wasn't on stage till much later than that. Just talk about the energy of the evening and what it meant to you performing in your hometown. It Honestly, it means a lot to me. It means everything, actually. And then the hype from going on stage right before Tim Hicks was crazy, I mean, being after or before someone who's, like, so big right now, you know, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and again, we're talking with Brooklyn Roebuck, it's country in the boardroom, you're juggling a lot of stuff right now, you're in high school, you're only, you're 16. School. You're yes. in what, grade 11 then at CK? Mm -hmm. So you have Six, school, seven, I assume school. you have still some kind of social life around here. I do, yes, with my friends. And this fledgling, fledgling uh, music career, how do you do that? It's actually easier than... You would think. I mean, oh, you should, you should hear my semester this year. So I have, I have art. Listen to this, art. Then I have drama. Then I have gym, and then vocals. I wish I had that semester at all. The best yeah. semester. <laughs> like, how could it get any better? I didn't hear socials, you know, geography or algebra. I didn't do that at all. I'm basically standing the entire oh, semester. No. But uh, you, you keep up with the studies when you're on the road doing music yes. stuff. Mm -hmm. Very good. So again, uh, you've got your band with you. Can you introduce who you've got with us here? Uh, right over here. Well, I guess you can't really see. But <laughs> is Dale, Dale Rivard on Dobro. And I also have Dwayne Boismere on the guitar. Very good. And you're going to do a couple of the songs off of your recently released EP called Storyteller. What's yes. this first song you're going to do? Jacked Up Pickup. All right, here you go. Brooklyn Robot Country in the Boardroom. Thank you. 